personally, there's nothing that can change my mind when it comes to Kobe being the second greatest. He will never be able to surpass Michael Jordan, however. But he is the second greatest of all time. Uh, remembering the legend Kobe Bryant, a definitive GOAT case. Let's get to it. Sports are not merely a game, but more so a microcosm for life as a whole. And the iconic legends that have been celebrated from the dawn of time throughout sports history are not simply athletes, but in many instances, they are heroes. No, we're not fighting battles for freedom or for our ability to exist. It's not a matter of life and death, but in many ways, sports are far more meaningful than just a game. They feel purpose, you know what I'm saying? They give people purpose. Who are That's what it is. The ones who are really remembered by history are more than just athletes. They are defined not just by the wins, but by how they won, the lengths to which they were willing to go to, the obstacles they overcame. It was how they made us feel. Some of the all-time two four RP Kobe, you doing? I said for themselves. In some cases, the numbers alone can paint your picture, and in other cases, players will be defined by those hollow numbers alone. But in some instances. You have to look deeper Top three all time, bro. He's not third. Stories ...to reveal who and what they really were. And Kobe Bryant is generally regarded as one of the greatest basketball players yes, sir. to ever live. But it has become apparent as time goes on that his legend is depreciated more and more. However, How? when you evaluate the context of his career, the era in which he played, the competition he faced, and his achievements in that light, it becomes clearer and clearer that Kobe Bryant is not merely one of the greatest basketball players to ever live. He is arguably the greatest. Mm -mm. That's where I have to stop you, pal. <laughs> Don't get it fucked up. Kobe is in my top two. It's him. I mean, it's Michael Jordan, then him. I only say... You can never surpass uh, the person that you built your game around. That's that's just me though. Like he's literally like the damn near the carbon copy of Michael Jordan. Like damn near the perfect replica. Dexter, am I right or am I right, brother? You know what I'm saying? Like nobody. Like when you talking about walking into the footsteps of MJ, Kobe's the only person that you know what I'm saying that came close. He's the only one. Who else? Like, how is that not second all overall? He's the only nigga that got close to him. Personally, man, he's he will always be my least, second top he two. He has a prominent seat at the altar of that conversation. And many believe that Kobe Bryant <clears throat> sailed under a lucky star on draft night in 1996 when the Charlotte Hornets selected Kobe with the 13th pick in the NBA draft. The Charlotte Hornets select... Kobe Bryant. Only to trade him to the Lakers for the rights of Lottie Divock. But Bryant was Idiots. brought into an untenable situation in LA. A team that already had two all star guards in Nick Van Exel and Eddie Jones. Well, Thus, knows. Kobe was forced to sit, barely playing his first two years, as he started in only eight of his first Ooh, 150 gosh. career games and the prolific run of his own inept franchise. What an idiot! Sabotaging his career. Huh? At an early stage and age of his time in the NBA. Is he talking about when he was on the bench? Comment down below. And overall, I'm not too in his sure. first two seasons, Brian got to shoot only nine times a game. Compare this to other all-time great scores, such as Michael G. I mean, shit, can you blame him, though? He was right out of high school. I kind of get it in that aspect. Uh, he was on the bench for, what, like three years, right? Damn, that's so crazy to think about. His first three years in the league, or three or two, it was something. I'm pretty sure he won. He was, what, second or, or I mean, uh, second in six-man of the year voting. Like, that's crazy. That's so crazy to think about, bro. A legend was on the bench for a minute. Attempted 20 shots a game in his rookie season, as did Allen Iverson. But that's in different, his first though. Game. They were also in three different 
totally different situation. As you can see, first of all, both of them niggas went through college. You know what I'm saying? So Kobe, he was coming straight from 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 fucking yeah, you know I mean Dexter. He's coming straight from the motherfucking from high school Dexter. Yeah, I said straight from that from high school to the league Dexter. Yeah, you know I mean they had they had college experience. Kobe never had that, so he kind of had to jump from high school fucking high school competition to NBA. Like, that's, like, mountains different. You know what I mean? That's her. So, like, I think he just, it, it most likely it just had to be, like, an adjustment period. But once he found out, or once he adjusted, oh, was he successful. R.P. Kobe 2-4. Hope you, hope you up there bullying this shit. You know what I mean? Hope you up there bullying this shit. Kevin Durant, meanwhile shot it 17 times a game and LeBron once again a totally different situation field goals again once again a totally different situation he was put on a team with scrubs bro a bunch of those niggas I I've never heard of yeah I mean and same what who's the, who's the other nigga KD same same shit I don't know nobody that was on the Sonics when he got drafted. I don't know one person. So, like, I mean, it's just, that's just required of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, the team is giving them the keys. Yeah, I mean, that's her. So, they, they, they kind of have to shoot that much. Times a game, and LeBron James attempted 19 field goals a game as a rookie in order That's to average fair. just under 21 points Damn, per game. Kobe, meanwhile, only got to attempt 18 or more field goals in nine of wow. his first 150 career games. In those nine games, nine out of 150 19.4 shot attempts and averaged 24 points per game on nearly 49% from the field as a teenager yeah, that's just because crazy. Kobe didn't play right away and start scoring immediately didn't mean he couldn't it meant his clueless coaching staff at the time and his criminally negligent they just didn't trust him understandably though like he's a you know how rare like do you I think people be like I don't think people be really realizing how rare it is to to like just come out of the come out of high school let alone college, you know what I'm saying, or come out of college, let alone high school, and be immediately successful. Like, that don't happen to just, to every every player in the league. Like, you, you see a select few of the niggas, you see the niggas that they push, like Anthony Edwards, you see all the, all the face of the league niggas. Yeah, but if you really boil it down, that's like 10 people, 10 out of like 300 people, bro, like, that's that's an anomaly. It's fair to say. That. His you know what I'm saying? Don't happen. Day. It does oh, not happen loser. often. One and if it does, yeah, you know I'm saying you get Kobe Bryant. Two for RP Kobe. I mean, Kobe out there bullying and shit. Twenty points per game. One year later, by the age of 21, Kobe was second team All NBA and Look first at team All NBA. Look at defense. that shit. Bryant would win the first of his five championships that season alongside Shaquille O'Neal. The How old was he? Twenty one. Chips that season, alongside Shaquille O'Neal, the two of them. Would you can say I will say this: the person who's following in his footsteps, Anthony Edwards. Yeah, I mean, that's her. Four NBA Finals over those five seasons Crazy. and win three of them consecutively. A feat that has still only been accomplished by one other team in modern NBA history. MJ, the Michael he did Jordan it twice. Bulls, who did it twice. That's Over so that five crazy. year span, Brian Bro, would be named so All NBA and All NBA defense in all five oh seasons. Additionally, Bryant would Ooh. lead the Lakers in fourth quarter scoring during four of those five playoff runs. And in two of their three rings together, <sighs> 2000 and 2001. Bryant didn't just lead his team in fourth quarter scoring. He Damn. led the entire league. Despite these facts, there remain various pathetic implications that Kobe was carried to these finals. But in the regular Oh season, my play, bro, what? Let's get this straight. First of all, Shaq, in my opinion, is the most overrated player of all time. He's not even in my top ten, but he's just right out of it. He's like eleventh or twelfth. But either way, bro, without Kobe, there's no championship. Just 
you can compare these duos nowadays. Without Jamal Murray, there's no championship. You know what I'm saying? Without Kobe, there's no championship. In a lot of these situations, Kobe was a, a option one player. Dexter. I don't I don't know the specifics, but I'm pretty sure I heard when he played the Pacers, they relied heavily on his offensive um, contributions. When they played Trailblazers, he was the MVP of those of those series. And yeah. Like, don't ever play Kobe like that. Please. Please. Yeah, you know I mean? Like, come on, dog. Fuck. Hey, bro, I was like 5'11". Right here. Through 2004, come on, Kobe uh, Bryant averaged just one point Kabucky. fewer than Shaq during this time. While Kobe also Look led the that. Lakers in assists per game. Look at that. Factoring in Kobe's points assisted as well as scored. He accounted for a larger percentage is the most of the Lakers' overrated player of all time. Shaq, as Kobe scored or assisted on 2,785 of the Lakers' 8,217 points wow. during LA's four final wow. months, good for 34%, while Shaq accounted for only 32%. Only for though, some additional context. Steph Curry in four finals runs, resulting in three titles over the 2016 to 2022 NBA seasons, scored or assisted on 2,982 of his team's wow. 9,319 total points, or roughly 32% of his team's total offense. And Kobe was only aged 21 to 25. Yeah, that's crazy. Run, one of the Bro, best that is in insane. NBA history. But Kobe knowing he could be even better than just one of the best, decided it was time to go it alone without Shaquille O'Neal. And the inept Lakers franchise decided to sabotage Kobe's career some more. Wow. Idiot. Ultimately moving O'Neal to the Miami Heat for a package that ended up constituting one of the most laughable and embarrassing trades in NBA history. What would they do? The Heat sent back Karan Butler, Lamar Odom, and Brian Grant. No, don't do Lamar Odom. <laughs> okay, don't do Like, who is this? Dexter. You know what I mean? Okay. The Heat sent back. Like, who is this? Dexter. Like, who the fuck is this? I don't know. Somebody tell me, please. Mm hmm. Karan Butler, but Lamar Odom, and. He, he was a good six man if I'm not tweaking off a of perk. He was a good six man. He he was a great uh, contributor to those championships. Don't do Lamar Odom that like that. Like he earned those chips with just with Kobe. Don't do that. I, I I won't stand for that. Brian Grant. But like shit on him. Like who is this guy? You know what I mean? I've never seen this guy a day in my life. What? But in the next three years that would ensue, in his absolute prime, ages 26 to 28, Kobe Bryant finally oh got an opportunity to unleash the full extent of his offensive powers. And after shooting just under 17 times a game for his first eight full NBA seasons, while other players like Jordan, LeBron, and Kareem just came in the league shooting 19, 20, 22 times a game, from their rookie year and on, Kobe finally got that kind of freedom. And in those three seasons, he averaged 32 points per game, five and a half rebounds, and five assists. But no, no success. In the heart of the lowest scoring, slowest paced decade in NBA. Yeah, history. but no success. Average nightly scoring for those three seasons. Actually, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Per game. Comparing the NBA Kobe was in How far did he get in the playoffs? Wilt was having his scoring eruptions in during the 1960s, where scoring was 115 points per game on average. Even when Jordan had his most prolific seasons in the 1980s, scoring was 109 points per game. And in the current NBA, 90, swelled all the way back to 96 a night on average. Kobe was unleashing a scoring assault on the league at the time that had not been seen in over 20 years since Jordan, and he was doing it at a much harder and far less efficient time. I'm telling you, to score I'm telling you, bro. Despite the incredible like, stop playing with Kobe, bro. Stop playing with Kobe. I'm tired of seeing all the bullshit. 
with Kobe not being top three. If he's not in your top three, you don't have a valid argument, my gang. Kobe is, he's the only person that is close to Michael Jordan. Like, he's the only person that touches him, in my opinion, bro. Only person. He dominated this era. Yeah, I mean, Dexter. Totally squandered Brian's prime. It's garbage. As aside from Kobe, LA's core rotational players during the like look, look at this. Who are these guys? Who are they? Oh man. Jesus Christ. I just want to hurl. Ugh. Except for Ron Artez. I fuck with you. But bang, who's this? Luke Walton bumass? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Come on, brother. Like, come on. Who's this? Okay, I fuck with Ron. Who's this? Okay, I fuck with uh, Lamar. Who's this? And who's this? Is that Carl Malone? Yo, what? What the fuck? Who is this? Is this Carl Malone coming up below? Because I know he was on the Lakers before. Is this him? Who's this? Kobe Bryant, of course. Crazy, bro. Just a bunch of 2K generics. It's like you sim to like two, two, 2031. Yeah, you know I mean, and you just left with all generic players, bro. Like dead ass. Sucks to Ooh, suck, I guess. Rotational players during this span were Lamar Odom, Smush Parker, Who? Brown, Chris Mim, Devin George, Luke Walton. And Maurice Evans. These top seven rotation oh, players combined to make the fuck? zero total Yo. appearances ever for their entire careers. And with that roster, Kobe was left to fend against the greatest conference in NBA history, consisting of the Tim Duncan Spurs, the Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden. Sure. Under, the Steve also, Mann. gotta make this clear: Russell Westbrook will forever be my favorite player. Ever, yeah, you know I mean, like I fuck with Kobe f for life. Like he is, he'll forever have two on lock. Like he'll always have number two of the greatest of all time on lock. But Russell Westbrook is my favorite player of all time. Sons, the Dirk Nowitzki Mavericks, Yao Ming and Tracy McGrady's Rockets, as well as the Carmelo Anthony. Only time they got past the first round was when Tracy McGrady was injured. It, comment down below, bro. Is Tracy McGrady low-key overrated? I, I can't take people serious if they have no playoff success. I know a lot of those situations, he was just put in bad situations. So, you can't really blame him. You can't. You can't. Never mind. But, I mean, he put himself in that situation. If he stayed on the Raptors, he low-key could have got a chip. At least got close. You know what I'm saying? At least made a run. But... Iverson Nuggets. This, in addition to the assembly of what many believe to be the first NBA super team out east, the Boston Celtics, who would combine the forces of three Hall of Famers in Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen. But once the bum Lakers front office got around, what an idiot, to bring in that, one serviceable player in Pau Gasol, Kobe would again dominate that NBA land and also 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 that's another thing what people also fail to realize from how he's talking um championship teams aren't just super superstars you know what I mean it's, it's about knowing what players to bring knowing what players exit your your option one best it don't gotta be no goddamn star player oh, brother one career all-star team zero all NBA team and won zero career playoff games in his seven-year career with Memphis prior to the trade. Zero point zero. The Lakers, meanwhile, would add nothing else of substance, just that one all-star and no other top 75 players aside from Bryant. And that would be Thanks. all he needed to make it to three more consecutive finals and win back-to-back -back titles yes, in 2009 and 2010. 
During the three-year finals run, Dang. beginning in 2008, Kobe joined Michael Jordan Dang. as the only two players to lead the playoffs in scoring for three consecutive so years. Bro, now, there's nobody that touches Kobe, Kobe bro. I'm sorry. And remains the I stand that he's second. To score at least 600 points in three straight playoffs. And he also remains... Do you believe me now? ...to win consecutive titles without another top Come on, dog. Look, bro, Michael Jordan ain't even do this shit, nigga. Ah! All right, be Kobe, hope you over there bullying this shit with your, with your little daughter and shit. Hope you out there bullying this shit, brother. I mean, and always, yeah. Despite I always talk crazy about Kobe. All right, be Kobe, hope you out there bullying. Yeah. three-year run. From 2008 to 2010, of the 12 teams Kobe faced, 11 of them won at least 50 games. For their career, no one faced more 50-plus win teams than Kobe Bryant. Do you believe me now? He played 37 50-plus win opponents in his Do you believe me now? Series he played in. Do you and believe me now? Of his total Do you believe me now? Contest. LeBron Come on, dog. 27 such teams of his 51 <laughs> opponents, or roughly only 53% of the time. Even Michael Jordan faced a 50 plus win team in only 27 of his Do you believe me now? Or around 73%. Shit, here it is, I might bubble up to 1B. Thanks, sir. I might. I might. Nah, 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 nah. He's that. But it's close, bro. Uh, he he's a solid number two. No one has beaten more fifty plus win opponents in the playoffs than Kobe Bryant's Come on. six to Come put on. this number in further contact. Yeah, Larry Kobe, Bird, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Karl Malone all beat ten such opponents. Dirk Nowitzki beat eleven, while Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Steph Curry all beat fourteen, with the self-proclaimed king beating only seventeen. In fact. In NBA history, there have been four teams to face four 50-plus win opponents in a single postseason. They were the 1995 Rockets, the 2001 Lakers, the 2008 Lakers, and the 2010 Lakers. Kobe Bryant was responsible for three of the four. And Do you believe me now? For the entirety of his career, Come on, Bryant bro. never had elite supporting casts himself. In all, Kobe played with only one. But that—that's just what I'm saying, though. Like that, if you're talking in that logic, look at Tim Duncan. You know what I'm saying? From your logic, they weren't supposed to be that good. You know what I mean? Technically, what they got like a couple All Star appearances, and I want to say zero All NBAs. You know what I'm saying? From that logic, from that standpoint, that's they weren't supposed to work, right? It, no, it's nothing. It has nothing to do with uh, like how good a player is. It's just how well can he accent your number one option. That's that's all the championship team is. Yeah, you know I mean that's her. And in this case, it was one A, one B. They had leading. I mean support a supporting cast. That's why they were so goddamn good for three years. You know what I'm saying? And that's why Kobe was so goddamn good for two years by himself. You know what I'm saying? Because he had a great supporting cast. We're not going to talk about Ron Artest, you know what I'm saying, making that big shot. Without that big shot, they low-key probably would have lost. Uh, Paul, Gasol, Paul Gasol, if he wouldn't have stepped up, they probably would have lost. Kobe was shooting a horrible game seven, six for 24 to be exact. Yeah, you know I mean, that's her. But guess what? The supporting cast got them that win. Not Kobe. The supporting cast. So let's not do that. I get what you're saying. Because you're trying to help his argument. And don't, don't get it fucked up. Like, 2 4 RP Kobe. Like, till I die type shit. That's sure. But, like, gotta, gotta state it how it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? He had a great, a great team to accent him to get a chip. That's just facts. Finals. Maybe not on paper, but they were they were great players. And also they had Phil Jackson. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Phil Jackson, like the GOAT of GOATs. Yeah you know I mean, the GOAT of GOATs. Let both uh yeah you know I mean 
and a three peats or land or three three peats in NBA history. So we yeah, have more than <laughs> come on. All star on any of those three teams. No other all time great can say this aside from Michael Jordan, who played with just one all star four times to reach six finals, and Tim Duncan, who also played with just four all stars to reach his six finals. However, not even Duncan himself was an all star. In He's one of five for six. Duncan Tim Duncan's five for six in the finals. Hall of Famers in four. Yo. LeBron, meanwhile, has played with 14 all stars to make it to his 10 finals and had multiple yeah. other all stars. That's why he will never be my top ever. He's never in Lyndon Bell top top five. For that exact reason, because he's had so much more help comparing it to, like, Michael Jordan. Yeah, he had help, but um, for the most part, it's homegrown shit. Scottie Pippen was homegrown. They drafted the nigga. Whereas this nigga hopping, team hopping like a thot, Dexter. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, picked up Anthony Davis, tried to form all these super teams and just got rid of everybody. Low-key ruined hella careers just for himself. Like, that's... You can't put that in your top five, bro. Like, come on now. There's there's way play, better players than than Michael Jordan. I mean, LeBron James. Ten finals teams. Bird Realistically, Bird is higher. To make it to five finals. And Magic played with thirteen All Stars to make it to. Nine. His face looked like that. What the hell? Played with thirteen All Stars. That shit look. Why it look like that? Yo, am I tweaking off a of walk hard? Yo. Stars to make it to nine. And she both the of them are multiple Hall of Famers in the majority of all of their championship runs. Mm -hmm. No all time great, aside from arguably Jordan, had less help than Kobe Bryant, and no one faced more difficult competition. And yet, Bryant made it to seven finals and won five championships five in his for career. Seven. That's more finals appearances than Michael Jordan and Tim Duncan. It's more wins than Larry Bird, LeBron James, and Will Chamberlain. In post -Murray, What? Comment out below. Larry Bird was what? Three for five, right? Modern NBA history. The only time and uh, uh, Magic Johnson was five for nine. Michael Jordan and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What do you say? Players coach merger modern NBA history. The only top 75 players Kobe trails in titles is Michael Jordan and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who each got one more than Kobe. And in terms of a sustained prime, Kobe was still at the very top of the NBA Gosh. in his 17th year in the league. As in the 2012-2013 NBA season, Kobe posted a similar stat line as a then 28-year-old LeBron James, Ugh. who won the league MVP that year with per game average <sighs> of nearly 27 points, eight rebounds, and seven assists a game. But Kobe, in his 17th season that year, outscored LeBron. 27 his 17th season? And averaging more minutes. The absurd and incomprehensible minutes in his 17th <clears throat> year, a courtesy of yet again his moron organization <clears throat> that would again step in to sabotage his I'm not going to lie. I will say that ever since, what was his name, Jim Buss, RIP, I think the Jeff, John, some, some with a J, RIP to you, brother. <clears throat> Ever since your kids started taking over, they low key fucking your shit up, my gang. I, I, I'm being it. I'm keeping it a buck fifty. Them niggas are fucking your shit up. Yeah, you know I mean, especially now that LeBron's on it. Oh my god, it's just a recipe for fucking disaster. Like LeBron, they just allowing LeBron to run everything. Like they just fired the whole goddamn coaching org, like the entire coaching staff, like. It's crazy. And most likely I was LeBron. Like due to his history, come on, it was obviously LeBron. Idiot. This time by effectively ending it with the garbage lineup they surrounded Ugh. him with. It's garbage. And to think, some call the twenty twelve thirteen Lakers a super team. Dwight Howard was their second leading scorer that year and was significantly diminished coming yes, off of was. back surgery that offseason. Oh, really? And injuries would yeah, he got injured. The remainder of that lineup, with Pau Gasol declining substantially this year while missing nearly 40 games, and 38 year old Steve Nash also missing over 30 games. Kobe, he was 38 into the playoffs. 
Yeah. Finishing second in the NBA. He got injured. In his 17th season, behind only 24-year-old Kevin Durant. There would be no excuses, no low. Hey, bum ass niggas, bro. I hate, I hate. Nah, no, I don't. There would be no. I don't like nah. I got mixed feelings about him. He just seems like he's satisfied with his, with everything he's done. It seems like he he stopped chasing the 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 ring. He kind of gave up hope. Him, he just seemed like he in the league for a bag. I'm being honest with you, bro. No excuses, no load management. <laughs> in the final seven games of his season that year, buggy. Bryant averaged 29 points per game, eight and a half assists, and seven rebounds while playing 46 minutes per game, with the Lakers going six Change. and one during that stretch, and from out of the playoffs to into the seventh seed. But on April 12th, 2013, Nobody touched Kobe. body couldn't take anymore. He and Kobe injured. ruptured ah, his Achilles, man. which in hindsight would be the end of his career. As he would suffer season-ending injuries he early walk in the that bitch years as well, playing only 6 and 35 games before gutting it out for a final 66-game farewell tour in his 20th season, culminating with one of the most surreal spectacles the sport of professional basketball had ever seen. As Kobe's final career game in Staples Center upstaged the Warriors, winning their 73rd game and breaking the 1996 Bulls record. That happened on the same day. Single season. Bryant, on no legs, at the age of 37, scored 60 points in 42 minutes, including 38 in the second half and 23 in the fourth quarter. He wow. scored 15 straight Lakers points in the final three minutes of the game to overcome an eight point like, points. You know how much it's just to be this good, bro. It's just repetition, 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 bro. Like, I just looked at a to shot he took, to nigga. He's shooting over like the game winning shot. Only Kobe Bryant. And amid Happy all, Kobe, the man. all of the heroics, RP Kobe, all man. Those points scored. Kobe somehow only screaming RP Kobe till I'm dead. Yeah, you know I mean, this despite Kobe having the third most top five finishes in MVP voting history, he is one of only six players to have at least 10 top five finishes. Kareem had the most with 15 top five finishes. LeBron is next with 14. Kobe, how many Kobe? Had? Bill Russell also had a lot, wow. while Jordan and Wilt both had 10 each. Wait, hold on. From top history, having the 31 1 league MVP. It's ridiculous. This despite Kobe having the third most top five finishes in MVP voting history. He is one of only six players to have at least 10 top five finishes. Kareem had the most with 15 top five finishes. Crazy. LeBron is next with 14. Kobe has 11. Bill Russell also had 11, while Jordan and Wilt both had 10 each. Five of the six players on this list have all won at least four league MVPs, Crazy. except Kobe. Crazy. The media only gave one. But it's wow. difficult to take a media bestowed popularity award and count it against Kobe, especially when, for the most part. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Honestly, like, who cares? Who cares about any anything that has to do with like season accolades in any way? It has no, it don't hold no weight to like your your goat status in my opinion. Like you can still be, nah. You gotta at least have like one. That's why Kobe's number two. I mean, you gotta have at least one. I believe. No, no, yeah, yeah. You do. You do. Yeah, it holds some weight. I got, I gotta say that. But comparing championship finals MVP to, yeah, you know I mean championship finals MVP, season finals MVP, champion finals MVP, like let's be real here. Yeah, I mean organization was terribly run for half of his twenty year career because his kids ran in the dirt. All time greats enjoy stability. Kobe's career was highlighted by upheaval. In all, Kobe played for nine different head coaches in his 20-year career, including eight different coaches in nine seasons. Kobe, Mike Dan, Tony, he, he coached them really? From that trash that motherfucker. 
Nah, he not trash. I want to say he took Phoenix to three conference finals appearance. I never knew that. Supporting casts. He never ran to some other jacked super team. He never load managed. He played through injuries. Yes, he did. Broken fingers. Sidelined most players for weeks. He had to sacrifice his own personal stats for the betterment of the team. He prematurely ended his own career. He faced the most difficult competition in NBA history, and he played in the lowest scoring, slowest pace, most difficult era ever. It was Despite arguably the most the successful. All he faced throughout his career, all the adversity and turmoil, Kobe is still one of the most accomplished players ever. <clears throat> he had 15 All-NBA selections which trail only LeBron's 18 for the most in NBA history. And his 12 All-NBA defensive selections are more than any player ever, aside from Tim Duncan's 15. And, and who, who, you, who, you, who you see up there? Dexter, who you see up there? Nothing but big niggas. Dexter, come on, bro. It's nobody on Kobe, bro, except for Michael Jordan. He is the number two. Like, he's a solid number two. Come on, bro. Stop Kobe. playing with Kobe like he's not one of them. Like he's not that guy. Dexter. Come on, bro. Two players in NBA history with at least 30,000 points, 6,000 rebounds, and 6,000 assists. He is fourth all time in the uh, top three uh, in most 40, 50, uh, and 60 point uh, games behind uh, only Wilt and Jordan. He on, produced bro. arguably. Oh the God. greatest scoring season in NBA history and had the How much greatest had? playoff run we have ever seen. He made seven finals appearances over an 11 year span. And from 1999 to 2013, no one scored more points than him or averaged more points per game. While he also made an all NBA defensive team 12 times during that 14 year span. You know how crazy that is, bro? Player in the sport. Quite frankly, there hasn't been That's more than I'm one player. What I'm saying. That's back. what I'm saying. Bryant, though, was not just He's the only person, like, on both ends of the floor, like, defensively and off offensively. Like that's that's came that's come close to Michael Jordan. Like who else has come close to him? LeBron and also just overall impact on the game. Like who you you can say I guess LeBron had an impact, but you don't really see nobody copying their play styles after LeBron. You mainly see niggas. Yeah, you know I mean I looked at I look. There's a, a few niggas that people say Kobe is Kobe's always one of them. Am I right or am I right, brother? Yeah, you know I mean. Come on, bro. By the numbers. He was not merely an athlete. He wasn't simply a basketball player. He was an inspiration. A singular right, Pico, force man. of will. Someone who overcame every obstacle in his path. Faced down situations that would have destroyed others. And came through the other side of it. His existence was to inspire. One of the hardest photos when he was like, ah! That shit's so tough, I swear to God. I put that on IT Carroll, you know what I mean? I don't even know who IT Carroll is. Somebody no IT. What it was. And that is how history Pause. will remember Kobe Bryant. Sure. It's how I will remember him. And that is the true mark of a GOAT. Sir. Sure. What can I say? Mamba out. R.P. Kobe, man. R.P. Kobe. You know what I mean? Like... I, yeah, I, I stand on what I said, though. Um, Kobe, is he will always be second to me. Like, just overall, the amount of success he's had in the league, domination, you know what I mean? Uh, to, from the rings to, to, to season individual accolades. Like, there's nobody that's been damn near. I mean, the only person that's been more successful is Michael Jordan. I mean, but guess what? I mean, he, he the only person that damn near um, uh, was implementing his play style to perfection and had damn near just as much success. Right or right, brother? Am I right or am I right, brother? Yeah, you know I mean, but 
uh, if you enjoy that, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, also recommend some videos to me to react to. I mean, like, I'm trying to learn. Like, I'm trying to learn as much as possible about basketball. That's about it.